Oh, hi. Well, we're still working on this knife handle for my brother's K-Bar. Uh, this is actually the third handle now I've done. Uh, the first two I wasn't satisfied with. And altogether now, this has taken me longer to do this handle than it took me to build this entire knife. So, I really underestimated uh, how difficult this was going to be to do. Uh, in theory, it looked pretty easy, but in actual practice, uh, it didn't work out that way. The very first one I did uh, wasn't too bad. You can see this was after I sanded it and, and uh, colored it a little bit. And it, and it, uh, don't look at the parts where I had to cut it off. I had to cut it off the handle. But the actual surface of it looked pretty good, okay? Uh, the problem with this was, and if you remember back to the other video, the first video about this, I was going to use these ruby red spacers uh, to put in between, you know, so we get an effect sort of like that. Uh, but the problem was, you know, I wanted this glossy finish here to kind of break up the, uh, the leather washers. But when I started to sand it, what I actually got was this. And, you know, the, there was just no way to sand this to a uniform uh, kind of a color. So this one actually isn't too bad. Some of the other ones, and I had to break these to get them off, so I don't really have one to show you. But it was so bad that, you know, I was looking at it, staring at it for so long, working on it, working on it. I finally got it done, and I took it in to show to my housemate, Julia. And I said, hey, look at this. This looks pretty good. And she said, well, she goes, it doesn't look horrible. And I go, well, that's not good enough. It doesn't look horrible isn't good enough. So I ripped that one off. Uh, I, I got another set of leathers. And I did it again, and that time when it came out, I didn't like the way the color came out. Now, originally, uh, the owner of the knife told me he wanted a more of a desert kind of deal on this, because this is where he carried this knife, was in the deserts of the Middle East. So instead of a dark or a black handle, he wanted more of a light handle. And one of the reasons that this, this one came out so dark was I used an epoxy, uh, in between all the leather washers and I, I put the epoxy right out to the edge so as I sanded it you know first of all it was kind of hard to sand because of the epoxy but moving the sandpaper over and over and over it actually burned the epoxy which gave it this darker color which I didn't want so so now we're taking our third swing at this and but this time we're going to get it uh, I'm not using glue uh, between the washers this time. Uh, I'm not going to put any kind of a stain on it or anything like that. I'm going to kind of leave it this color. We're going to sand it smooth, of course. But one thing, uh, without the glue on there, uh, I was worried that, you know, it was going to be a little lopsided. You know, it wasn't going to be on there as, you know, without, without the glue and without it being compressed on there. I was a little worried that it wasn't going to fit the contour right. So what I did was I pre-compressed these. I took, a, I took a piece of threaded rod and I ran all of these, uh, you know, I, I pre-fitted this to see how many I needed. And then I ran those over this rod and I tightened them down with nuts and uh, washers, big flat fender washers on both sides. And I just tightened it down with nuts on both ends and I let it sit for a couple of days. So these are actually smaller uh, in width, uh, thickness, than they were originally. So hopefully, and by tapping this down, uh, we should get it, uh, the compression that we need. And then of course the pommel on the top is going to hold it all together. So I think this is going to work, okay. Uh, one other thing was... Uh, I well, can't remember what the other thing was, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and uh, finish putting these on. And uh, then we're going to drill the hole up in here. Remember, we welded this up. Uh, and then we're going to put the new pommel on the top. And then we'll get that to sit on there a little better. But Oh, by the way, I tried 
you know, after, after this failure, I tried a bunch of other things, you know, for spacers. I, I went out and I looked in the hardware stores and I found this and these uh, faucet washers and these rubber washers and nothing seemed to work. So I kind of gave up on that idea of having anything uh, besides just the leather washers on here. It's going to look a little plain looking, but I think it's going to get the job done. And I think the finished uh, product is going to be better. Now, as far as, there's going to have to be something on here to keep the water out, uh, because the leather would absorb water. And I thought about using a polyurethane finish. Uh, but then I didn't want it to come out glossy or, or become sticky or anything like that. So I uh, found a knife maker here in California and I wrote him and I asked him, you know, what my options might be for doing something like this. And he suggested I use beeswax on it. So we're going to try that. He said it shouldn't change the color too much. Uh, once it dries on there, it should make it fairly waterproof uh, or totally waterproof. So we'll see how that goes. If that doesn't work, we'll take a fort swing at it. But we're going to get her done one way or the other. Okay. So let's finish putting these on. The second one I did was the guard down here wasn't tight enough. You know, it would wobble around. So what I had to do was when I took it off this time, I re-beveled uh, or re-leveled out the shoulders in here. Because uh, over time what had happened was, because it was moving around originally when you gave me the knife, uh, it was working in there. So it, it, it took that straight edge off of the, the shoulders of the actual blade. So I resurfaced all of that. I smoothed it out the bottom of this guard, and uh, in the end, we're going to paint that in nice black color. So that should work. Okay.
Okay, in case you're wondering, I blunted the end of that chisel, so I'm not cutting into the leather. Yeah. You know. <coughs> this will taper in after I sand it. Okay, and this, of course, will be all smoothed out. This is as close as I can get it uh, to being flush. If I put another leather washer in there, it's too low, and uh, there isn't any other kind of a spacer that I have that I can put in here. So, what I'm going to wind up doing is when I drill the new hole through here to put the drip pin in, uh, the pin that's going to hold this on here, uh, I'm going to have to grind off the remainder of this tang here to make it flush. So, my brother's going to lose about an eighth of an inch of length on his knife, but uh, still do the job. And uh, hopefully everything will stay nice and tight, and then we can sand it. And uh, we'll try a little beeswax on it, and we'll go from there. Okay, catch you later.